Hi, it's Alana. Welcome back to Yogi Yin. Thank you so much for joining me. I put together a sequence today for fertility. It's for a student who has very irregular periods, so it's going to be about re-regulating her cycle. But it's also for those of us who are suffering from fertility and anxiety. And anxiety is something that can really plague us when we're on our fertility journey. Often it looks like we're coping extremely well, but under the surface um, uh, there's a lot going on and that is the case with my student today. So this sequence is going to be all lying down postures. It's going to be very, very good for calming the mind and calming the spirit. Also excellent for fertility and re-regulating your period, particularly if your period's coming every 40, 50 days. So I hope you enjoy it. If you would like a personalized sequence of your own, I'm now booked up through January next year and taking bookings for February. If you don't want to wait that long and you'd like a personalized program of your own from the videos already available on my channel, then please do contact me on Facebook. Namaste. Hurry on. So for this practice, you're gonna need a mat, a small pillow to pop under your head, and a scarf or a strap if you have one, but if you don't, don't rush out and buy one. A scarf will do. And we are going to come to lying on our mats so you can see me. I want you to support your head with your hand and your forearm, just like I am now. Good. Knees slightly bent, and we're just going to work with the legs. I want you to gently raise it, and we're going to take hold of the big toe with the index, middle, and finger and thumb. And then we're just going to bring it into the body like so. And I want you to take a couple of deep breaths here. Be careful not to roll over. Keep yourself nice and upright on your side. Good. And then I want you to raise that leg. And if you can, straighten it. If you can't, that's fine. Just keep the knee nice and bent. But otherwise, straighten it. We're going to take five deep breaths here. Beautiful. Bring the knee back into the body. Take a couple of deep breaths here. And then release it back down. Now, we're going to come on to our other side. So you can either roll over, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to turn my back to you. So we're going to do the same thing again with the other leg. Bend up that knee, take hold of the big toe. Index, middle finger and thumb, and just bring it in towards the body. Take a couple of deep breaths here. If you can feel it in your hip, just exhale, release it. And then when you're ready, straighten it. Keep the knee bent if you need to, or extend that leg all the way. And again, make sure you don't roll over, stay nice and upright. One more. Good. And then bend the knee. Couple of deep breaths here. And then release it all the way down. Very good. Okay. So we're going to come to lying on our backs now. Making sure that you're nice and comfortable. In Shavasana, feet rolling out to the sides, arms a little away from the body, palms facing upward. Good. And then when you're ready, we are going to bend up that right knee and just interlace the fingers around the knee and hold it here. Good. 
Take hold of that right knee in the hand and gently open it out to the side, working into the liver meridian now. Bring it back to centre, hug the knee into the belly. And then release it all the way down. And then inhale, working with the left knee, hugging that knee in. Beautiful, inhale, bring it out to the side. If you can feel that hip rising, just gently place your hand over it, bring it back down. into the body. And then release it all the way down, lying in Shavasana once more. And allowing the lumbar spine to sink down into the mat. Beautiful. We're going to bend that right knee now. Just place the sole of the foot into the inner left thigh. And I want you now to flex your left foot up towards the ceiling so that that leg is strong. Good. Beautiful. And then I want you to just bring your hands together, cupping them. So bring the base of the palms together and then the tips of the fingers like so, and bring them to the heart. Beautiful. And I want you to take five deep breaths here. So this is Sukta Vrikshasana, or Lying Tree Pose, which is a normally a pose that we do standing. It's a great balance pose. But I actually want you to practice it lying down and just focus on bringing your energy to the heart, just to heal the heart. When you're ready, just release the right leg, bending up the left knee. And again, bringing the sole of the foot to the inner right thigh, Flexing the right foot so the right leg is nice and strong. And I want you to take five deep breaths here. Close your eyes if you wish to. And focus in at the heart.
But you might find that if you're really focusing in at the heart, that some emotions come up for you, some tears. If they do, just let them fall. That's perfectly natural and normal. When you're ready, I want you to bring your right foot up now to meet your left. And we're going to lie in Supta Baddha Konasana. I want you to bring the tips of your thumbs and your forefingers together and just place them over the belly like so. And if you wish to, you can take your small pillow, tuck it under your head and just make it more comfortable for you. Breathing down into the belly. We're going to inhale through the nose now. And we're going to exhale, sigh the breath away through the mouth. Three big sighs. Inhaling. Exhale. <sighs> Inhaling. Exhale. <sighs> Good, one more. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale now down into the belly. Feel the hands of the belly rise. And exhale. Feel the belly draw back to the spine. And extending your exhalation so that it's longer and deeper than your inhalation. So if you're breathing in for a count of two, I want you to breathe out for a count of four. If you're breathing in for a count of three, I want you to breathe out for a count of six. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Continue. Three more rounds. And allow your breath to return to its normal pace. And then I want you to remove your pillow if you're using it. Gently fold your knees in towards one another. Walk your feet up to your buttocks like so. Arms nice and long beside the body. And we're going to come into Setu Bandhasana which is going to be very good for improving egg quality. As we know, it's a great fertility pose. But it's also very good if you've got high prolactin. So if you're suffering from high prolactin, that's one of the reasons why you're finding that you can't get pregnant. This is going to be an excellent pose for you. So when you're ready, I want you to inhale. Just gently raise the buttocks off the mat. Pelvis up towards the ceiling. And then exhale. Lower it down. 
Inhaling to raise the body, coming up a little further. And exhale, lower back down, slowly, mindfully. Now we're going to raise the arms as we raise the body. Inhaling, coming up onto the shoulders. And then exhaling, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way back down. Inhaling, raising the arms. Hips up towards the ceiling. And exhaling all the way back down. Keep going. Good. Now for this round, we are going to come up and hold the pose. So if you would rather keep practicing in a flowing fashion, please do so. If you'd like to hold it, come with me. Inhale. Now just leaving the arms lying on the mat. And then gently tuck the shoulders under. And you can either interlace the fingers here. Or if you wish to, support your lower back like so and you can come up onto your toes if you wish to six deep breaths And then release your arms and your shoulders, roll all the way back down and hug your knees into your belly, gently rocking from side to side. Lovely. Now I want you to grab your strap or your scarf, placing the feet back down gently on the mat. We're going to extend those legs all the way down to the mat. Now if you are tight in your lower back, I want you to bend up your left knee here. But if not, extend it all the way down. We're going to use our strap, gently bend up that right knee and place the strap around the right foot like so. I want you to take the strap in your right hand and just gently bend the knee in. And when you're ready, I want you to extend that leg towards the ceiling. Keep the knee bent if you need to here. Strap firmly in the right hand and left foot pointing up towards the ceiling, nice and strong. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, take the leg out to the side. Again, keep the knee bent if you need to, and keep your left hand placed firmly over your left hip so you don't roll off the mat. You might feel it's really tight at the inner thigh. I want you to exhale and use your exhalation to release that.
One more deep breath here. Good, and then inhale, bring it back to center. Swap over hands now, take hold of it with your right hand and take that left leg over your body, but don't roll over to one side. Good. Bring the leg back to center, draw it in towards your body for a deep breath. And then exhale, release it all the way down. And I want you to see if you can feel the difference in the two sides of the body now. So this is a pose in particular that works on menstruation and regulating menstruation. Good. And when you're ready, we'll work to the other side. Bend up your right knee if you did your left. Placing the strap around the foot, bending the knee in. And then, if it's available to you, straighten it all the way. Make sure that right foot is pointing up towards the ceiling. And then inhale and exhale, take that leg out to the side. Placing your hand over your right hip. Another deep breath here. Good. Inhale. Take hold of the strap in your right hand. Take that leg all the way over the body, but don't roll over. Good, and then inhale, bring it in towards the body, gently bring it in for a breath. And then exhale, release it all the way down. Line Shavasana, just enjoying the release in the lumbar spine. And I want you to now take your pillow and place it underneath your head so that your chin is tucked in and your neck is nice and long. And I want you to bring your hands to Yoni Mudra once again, place them over the belly. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Allow yourself a gentle smile. Feel the difference this smile makes to the muscles of the face. And when you're ready, I want you to breathe the smile 
down into the belly. Belly rising as you inhale and as you exhale, draw back to the spine. Bringing that smile all the way down to the ovaries. The fallopian tubes. Good, bring that smile to the whole of the pelvis. Feeling the whole of the pelvis with that beautiful smile. Now I want you to feel the whole body with that smile, right down to the tips of the fingertips, the tips of the toes. Inhaling, bring that smile to the whole of your body. Two more breaths, just like that. Let it go. And when you're ready, flake your eyes open, bend up your knees. We're going to roll off to one side and make our way over to the wall, legs up the wall. So the best way to come into Viparita Karani, legs up the wall, is to bring our mats over to the wall and come into the wall from a side angle and then gently take the legs up the wall and place your pillow underneath your head like so, making sure that you're nice and comfortable. Again, breathing down into the belly. Place your hands over the belly, keeping it nice and warm. And then we're going to gently take our legs out to the side, like so. You don't have to go too wide, just as wide as you're comfortable. Again, working into that liver meridian. 
helping to regulate the menstrual cycle. And then gently release it. Bring it all the way back to center. Taking a few deep breaths here. And you can stay here for up to 10 minutes if you wish. In fact, it's very beneficial. But for the purposes of our video, we're going to bend our knees now. Gently roll off to one side and make our way back to the center of our mat. Hurry on. Sitting in a very comfortable seated position now. Palms on the knees. a sense of peace and calm through with you into the rest of your day. Bring the hands to arm, Jani Mutra prayer pose, to the forehead for clarity of thought and an open mind, to the lips for clarity of speech, kind speech and the heart, for a kind heart and an open heart. Om Shanti. Om